So you're forever pushing off your legs. And they're working all the time. They need a rest. But there's a lot of people who believe in standing between rounds, you know, so yeah. th there must be an argument for it. Oh. Ryan's having a better round this way, huh? So they had a few left hands and a couple of sneaky right hooks in there. And right on cue. Thanks, Ryan. Made me look good, like I knew what I was talking about. It was the right hand, wasn't it? Oh, that was cheeky left at the end there. Oh, nice head movement. He's getting a bit more kick out of his punches, Ryan, yeah. now. And I love that little turn. Oh, beautiful left hand. She's turned it on this round, hasn't yeah. he, Ryan? I didn't see that power out of Ryan. He don't want to punch himself out. Come on, Ryan, he's got nothing. He doesn't want to punch himself out because... As we've said, Jake will be there. Yeah, he won't go away. You can take a sledgehammer in there and he'll be, still be there. But he's, he's showing daring tactics, Ryan. He's really yeah. going for it. He's backing himself in. Ooh. Bit of a controversial call. I thought it was a push, personally, but... I thought it was a push. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to go. Punching away. You're going to punch oh, the that was a good left hook by Jake. A knockdown's a knockdown, but I'm not sure if that was a knockdown, personally. I think it connected, but it was a push after the connection. Ah, yes. And Ryan definitely came out going with a lot more power. I haven't seen that sort of power out of him in his past two fights, so it was good to see a change-up. Yeah, it surprised me. He sort of, he, he, he went for it, you know, and that can be pretty dangerous if you, if, if you don't connect, you yeah. know. Seconds out, round He was five. fighting that round like it was the last round. Yeah, you don't want to punch yourself out, especially over the eight rounds. Especially when you're standing in front of Jake. Oh, yes. He's still going on with it. He's still trying to to get a bit of kick out of his punches. It's a good left rip by uh, Jake to the body then before. Yeah, it was a nice little shot in there. Ryan does have a, have a footy background. He was a, he was a very good Aussie Rules footy player. And, uh, he's made his way back into the boxing and he's doing well. I think that football experience is going to help him to hit the fitness down the line. I'll tell you what, he's, he's shown a big heart. Ryan, he's sort of... He put it. He put all his chickens in one basket, and and uh, he hasn't backed off. He kept he kept the pace up that last round. He's dropped off fractionally, but he's still looking for an opening, looking to make something of it. Oh, he's landing some nice shots in there. Gee, he's packing his condition, isn't he, and his fitness. Yeah. 
because I tell you what, he's taking a big risk of, <laughs> if uh, he can't pull this off. Oh, nice couple of little uppercuts. Because Jake will just keep coming. Jake will just keep coming at this pace all day, all night. Yeah. But I don't think Ryan will be able to keep it up. So, you know, I'd, I'd be a bit careful if I was Ryan. Yeah, you don't want to just... You don't want to so expose yourself. So he's starting to miss... Yeah. He's start. Oh, no, that was a beautiful left yeah. and right. There's the curse of the commentator for you there, Fred. Yeah, the right and left, I should have said. Yeah. He's definitely he's definitely backing himself, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, nice left hand. Yeah, I think Ryan started to feel the pace of those last two rounds towards the end. He was sort of falling into his punches a little bit. Boxing well, but just a little, little tired. He's sitting down now. Yeah. He's breathing heavily. Maybe they just tried to try something different to offset Jake. Yeah, just try to control the tempo. Wrestle control of the speed of the fight. I, th I, I think I'd be pulling back a gear if I was Ryan. Because Jake won't go away, mate. There's no way known. You'd have to take a sledgehammer in there if you wanted to knock Jake out. I think Ryan's hoping there's a sledgehammer in his straight left hand. Well, as the fight goes on, your punches don't get any harder when you're going flat out. They go the other way, don't they? Yep. But I've got a funny feeling Jake stay the one, goes the one pace all the way. Yeah, he just keeps coming and coming and, and coming. And don't, don't, if you don't want to give him a sniff. If you give him a sniff, you're getting tired. He'll be on to you. Nice punch. But both athletes are in fantastic condition, aren't they? Yeah, it's a good fight to watch. Murray's put on another great show here tonight. All the fights have been really competitive. Nice Evenly to watch. matched too, haven't they? That's it. Ooh, now Ryan's starting to miss. Starting to miss an overcrowd. Yeah, he doesn't have that quite his the hands same are dropping. Stuff. See his hands coming down. Nice little left hand in there. Keep working away. Ryan stepping back, trying to give himself a little bit of room. Oh, nice shots by Ryan. See, Ryan's super fit, isn't he? Yeah. Good work. Good uppercut. Big right hand by Jake. 
10 seconds. Got one to go in this one. Good strong end to the round for Ryan. If you if you were trying you couldn't ask for any more from either fighter, could you? No, I don't think so. As we mentioned before. Sponsors helping out the fighters. Ryan Breeze would like to thank Trees R Us, the Groove Train Restaurant, and all systems. Those guys have helped him get here tonight and fight for this vacant Victorian title. Seconds out, round seven. Schedule for eight. Round seven. If this goes a distance, Jake can't win. Jake's only chance is by knockout. Yep, he needs to make something happen. Ryan's holding on a little bit more this round. He's up on his toes, just staying back and trying to box along. Oh, nice left hand. Beautiful way. Gave him the triple jab in the left. Beautiful. Nice boxing, Ryan. He's bagging himself, isn't he? Ryan. Yeah. He's just leaning in slightly there when he gets him on the ropes. I'd like him just to take not even a half a step back. It's a very polished effort. This. Oh, it is great. Oh, nice shots. Both boys trying to find the openings inside. He's not giving Jake enough room to, to, to throw his punches. Nice left hand again. He's crowding him. And then the moment they break, he's usually the first one to fire back. Yeah. He snaps back, doesn't he? He's not giving Jake the chance to let him set himself. He's, he's fought a smart fight, hasn't he? He's fought a real smart fight, Ryan. Yeah. Nice left hand. Oh, I think he felt that body shot. Nice left hand. Two. Oh, right, oh, so that's blood. That's, that's it. it. That's the end of Referee's it. in. Ryan's won the fight. Good fight. As all the shadow boxer crew jumped that, into the that ring. That was looking very dangerous. It was a good stoppage by the ref. It was good timing. Yeah. Very good timing. First of all, let's hear it for Jake the Snake Gathercole. Showed plenty of fortitude, got plenty. But give it another bang. Thank you, Damien. Give it another bang. Ladies and gentlemen, the re World Championship referee, Chris Anderson, senior, stopped the contest. Two minutes, 37 seconds into seventh round. Your winner, a new Victorian super middleweight champion. They call him the Bullet, Ryan Breed.
Here's the championship belt. Scott Brower, two times Aussie champ. Putting the belt around. How about three cheers for Ryan? Ebep! 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 Ryan, take your time. Lots of people to thank. Thank you, Scott. I think all of Glen Iris is here tonight. Is that right? All of Altham. Yeah. All of Melbourne. All of Altham. Okay, you take the mic. You've got plenty of good people to thank. And what's your lady's name again? We met at uh, Brown. Your sister. <laughs> Is your lady here tonight? Not here. Okay. Um, first of all, got to go out to Jake. He's a, uh, he's a warrior, that bloke, and I knew it was going to be tough, so hats off to Jakey boy. Um, big thank you to all the guys at the gym and the sponsors. We've got All Systems Crew, Trees Are Us. Groove Train, and then all the other people at the gym who started chipping in, and it was just amazing. Um, to the Shadows team, it's anyone who's involved in boxing, you know how close the teams can get within, and this is unbelievable. So if anyone's thinking about getting your gym, it's just an unbelievable, unbelievable family. Um, probably my biggest thank you has to go out to Dad. He's been amazing. Very professional and uh, just just looks after Benny and myself like well, I'm his son, but Benny looks after looks after like his own boy. And then uh, to all you guys that have come out, wow, amazing, amazing turnout, and uh, I'll get around here as all and have a beer. Thanks, guys. Once again, how about three cheers for Ryan? Hip hip, hip hip, hip hip. I've got to correct myself, I was politically incorrect. Don't go away, Rick, Melissa. Politically incorrect when I said your partner, but of course it's your, it's your daughter. What's her name? Carly. Carly's going to be a boxer, is she, Rick? No. <laughs> uh, Rick, your horse, but that's her right. I hear you yelling in the corner. What a big couple of weeks. You've got Benny Caps and now Ryan. Two, um, two title belts in three weeks for the shadow boxer. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, He's done good, that kid Jake. He's got a tough chin, he's, a, he's such a, a tough bugger, isn't he? He's a, big, he's a bigger man probably physically. I thought Ron was going to get him in the fourth, but uh, he's just a tough kid, you know, and um, I'm proud of him. boy, he's done well, he's trained the bloody house down, and um, he's, he's just a great athlete, I'm just proud of him. Well, he's an Aussie Rules footballer, he's got a, a lot of understanding. Did you encourage him to take up boxing? Yeah, well, he, Keeps playing football and be on buddy in a wheelchair for the rest of his buddy life. What, Terry Denner who played 300 games and he's here tonight? Has he got bucket knees like he has? <laughs> who else would you like to think? Melissa, come across the First Lady of Boxing. Well done, Rick. Melissa, the First Lady of Boxing, my favourite lady. Yep, very proud there. One thing I noticed, everybody in the corner was chewing gum. Is it bubble gum? No, it's something a bit stronger than that, Howie, I think. Um, I also just want to thank Jake for uh, being such a great competitor. We know how tough he is, but he took a bit of punishment and he just, uh, he just keeps walking through it. So thanks to Nick and uh, his crew for giving us a great fight. And I also just want to thank all the guys who support the gym, our sponsors, and just the rank and file members that turn up, the big sponsors, the ones that come to the circuits, some people here for the very first time. Uh, they've seen how hard our boys train. Uh, I hope you had a good entertainment tonight. It was a good fight. So I just want to thank everybody, especially Ryan and Benny. They've been fantastic. Thanks, Harry. Keep punching, Melissa. <laughs> OK, Team Breeze celebrating. Here is Ryan Breeze after a sensational state title win. Congratulations, Ryan. How's it feel, brother? Oh, mate, uh, massive relief. Massive relief. I'm over the moon, so... Yeah, yeah, awesome performance. You, uh, he was tough, Jack. He just kept coming. He was a comer. He's a warrior. I knew that was what was going to happen. I fought him before earlier in the year, and he's just one of those guys. You can hit him with all the leather you want, and he just keeps coming. So, um, yeah, and I saw, it, saw my opening, and I, I just went for it, and, yeah, I got the, got the result that I was, was after, yeah. so it was good. Fantastic, mate. Congratulations. We wish you all the best. Enjoy this break, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in 2014. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Justin. Good on you, mate. Thanks, mate. Is this the official Wayne Michael? Yep, okay. 
WBC World Youth Super Middleweight. Okay. WBC World Youth Super Middleweight Championship and uh, WBA PABA Interim Super Middleweight Championship. Frank, you've had a busy year. Your fifth fight coming up. Do you ever have a breather from training? Uh, yeah, I have a week off after <laughs> after <laughs> a week off after each fight. You know, um, I've been pretty busy uh, this year with the fights. So. Yeah, five weeks off this year. Yeah. Have you been overseas during the 12 months? Uh, yeah, I went over to Ecuador to have a look um, at the boxing and that there. Uh, I got away with my dad. Uh, I think it was my second fight into the year. Yeah. Yeah, so I had a look over there. It was, it was pretty good. What sort of standard boxing? Was it in a major city? Uh, in the major city. Yeah. Uh, standard boxing, um, not as big as Mexico, but yeah. uh, big enough. Big yeah. Enough. Zach, uh, you probably don't know a great deal about your opponent, but mostly you've got the height advantage, which is a great characteristic to have. Uh, how, how tall is he? Well, how, is he tall? Is Zach taller, Murray? Is Zach taller than uh, Alto? About the same height as he? Oh, well, well, maybe I saw him sitting down. <laughs> so, what about uh, Arif and Craig and all the team? It's going to be a great supporter base because um, there's an enormous crowd coming tomorrow night. It's going to be a full house, I think. Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, there's a lot of hair coming through in general emission as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be packed. Uh, uh, it's gonna be a good fight because he's had the same amount of knockouts yeah. as I. Well.